Bug tracking is a core part of any software development process. When teams are building products, encountering bugs is inevitable. The challenge isn't avoiding them. It's how efficiently you identify, organize, and resolve them. That's where Jira comes in. This video focuses on using Jira specifically for bug tracking. While Jira can be used for a wide range of project management needs, it's particularly strong when it comes to managing issues and defects. The goal here is to walk through the setup, how to report bugs, assign them to the right people, follow their progress, and make sure nothing slips through the cracks. It's aimed at teams that want a clearer process and individuals who are just starting to work with Jira in a QA or developer role. Whether you're part of a QA team, a developer, or a product owner trying to keep tabs on what's being fixed and when, understanding how to use Jira effectively for bugs can really help streamline communication and improve response times. Before we get started, first let us know what is Jira's bug tracking. Jira is a product developed by Atlassian that supports project and issue tracking. It's built to help teams plan, track, and manage work across different kinds of projects, especially software development. While it's often associated with agile methodologies like Scrum or Kanban, at its core, Jira is about managing tasks and issues, which makes it ideal for bug tracking. When used for tracking bugs, Jira allows teams to document detailed information about each issue, such as the title, a full description, steps to reproduce, screenshots, severity level, and more. Bugs can be assigned to specific team members, categorized, prioritized, and linked to related tasks or user stories. As bugs move through the development lifecycle, their status updates can be tracked in real time, typically flowing through states like open, in progress, in review, and resolved. Jira supports customizable workflows, which means teams can tailor how they handle bugs to fit their own internal processes. For example, one team might require a QA review step before closing a bug, while another might route bugs directly to developers for immediate triage. This flexibility is one of Jira's strengths. So for teams working across time zones or with multiple roles involved in the software lifecycle, Jira becomes a central hub. Everyone from testers to engineers to managers can collaborate in one place with visibility into what needs fixing and where it stands in the process. So now let's get started. So simply search for the Jira's bug tracking. And as you can see from here, you can use its free bug tracking software. So if you already have an account, it will redirect you to your project section. But if not, you can always sign up for free. So after signing up for your account, you will now be redirected to this page right here. So as you can see, this is the bug tracking template of Jira. So if you haven't used the bug tracking template yet, you can always create a new project. So let's say, let's go here. So from here in your projects, just simply click on create project. And when you scroll down right here, as you can see, select Jira. Now you will see the bug tracking template. So from here, simply click on use template. Now you will be redirected right here. So this is basically what your uh, project template will look like. From here, you'll see the summary. 
e reports. So as you can see, you can see your cycle time report, deployment frequency report, average age report, and all of this reports right here. But of course, to gather all those data, you need to create this project right here. As you can see, issue type is bug, status is to do. You can create the summary, say test, parent, issue is done. Description, priority, you can choose the team. You can select labels, estimates, and all this data right here. Click on create. So now I have created a new project here. So basically, that is where you're going to track the bugs. So basically, I'm just going to walk you through the features of this template. Next is a list. We can see the list form. As you can see, we have this project right here, which is to do. So to view the project, you can see this is the bug. To view this bug, just click on the project. And you'll see the descriptions right here, the environment, the contents, of course, and the details. Of course, you can always assign this to a specific uh, employee or member. It is still unassigned. We can assign this to myself. X, as you can see, this is now the assignee. And you'll see the priority right here. Due date, time it's created and updated. Next, we can also see this as a form. So we can create a form right here. So to create, simply click on blank form or use all of these forms right here. Next, we have our goals. So from here, we can use the goal section. So to do this, we'll need to go back to Appalachian Home. So we won't be doing that right now. Next, we have the issue section. So from here, as you can see, we have this issue right here that I have created. You can also view it right here. Next, we have the components, so a new way to work with software components. So we can use this new uh, feature as well. And of course, the coding. So you can connect your codes to Jira. The releases section, you can create a version right here, the archived issue. So let's say you're done with an issue or it, it, uh, you have archived those specific issues, you'll see it right here. We also have our pages, so we can create pages also. You can also always preview templates. You can start from scratch or use this uh, templates right here. And of course, our shortcuts. So to learn Jira, if you're not familiar about Jira, you can always select this one. So that's basically all the features of this bug tracking template or tool. So you can always uh, create your uh, bug issues as you can see this our overview so just simply create your bug pro project or a bug issue and you can uh, explore this with your team members assign th those tasks to them do it yourself so simply feel free to explore more about this template and make sure that it helps you with your business needs so that's basically it for this video so if you find this video helpful please hit like and subscribe Thanks.